Criso friends, welcome back to Opus LNI, where we reduce, reuse, and recycle. This is the third installment of the Discord So Long. If you've been here at all in 2023, you likely know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't, I have been hosting a quarterly sew along on my Discord, link in the description, where each quarter we sew a different type of garment with the ultimate goal of having a complete outfit by the end of the year. The first quarter was undergarments, second quarter was torso coverings, and this third quarter is leg coverings. Coverings. I've been wanting to make a petticoat for my Tudor outfit, both to maximize skirt swishiness and to make that outfit more modular. Y'all know how I love a modular wardrobe. And since I have this burgundy kirtle that doesn't fit me anymore, this project was a perfect way to incorporate another value of mine, ethical clothing consumption, and the expectation of being seen in something new. And lest anyone accuse me of hypocrisy, I do recognize how fine of a line I walk as a content creator who strives to make something new every two weeks. That is roughly 26 projects a year, minus live streams and breaks. I do my best to vary those projects so that there is a mix of sewing and material culture, and that the sewing is a mix of larger and smaller projects, both for myself and other people. I try to sew from stash as much as I can. I have bought exactly three lengths of fabric for myself this whole whole year. Everything else I've made on the channel has been shopped from previously acquired stash. And I try to refit, refashion, and reuse articles of clothing that no longer fit. Well, the pieces that don't find homes elsewhere anyway. Which brings me back to the kirtle. The bodice is not salvageable. There is no way that it would fit me, and I don't have any of the same dye lot of the fabric to make a new bodice out of. So I'm going to use the skirt portion to make a Tudor petticoat to go with my late period wardrobe. But... <laughs> And here's the twist. Because of a work function, the beginning of school, and the fact that partner is coming out and I'd like to spend some actual time with him this weekend, I only have one day to do it. So everyone go grab your cuppa. Today, I am just drinking water. It is too hot. I am too dehydrated and I'm trying to be better about it. Let's get into it. Good morning. It is 7.13. This is not the steadiest surface. Sorry about that. Um, it is 7.13. I am just awake. So I'm going to go make some tea and grab like an English muffin or something to eat for breakfast. And then I am going to get started on the project. Uh, but first, tea because it is too early for this. Okay.
it is just about eight o'clock. Um, I am up, I am dressed, I have the rest of my tea. It is time to get started. And by get started, I mean clean up my studio because it is a freaking mess. I think we're gonna get started there. When I say the studio is a hot mess, I am not lying even a little bit. Uh, nothing aesthetic here today, croissants. Let's get started. Okay, now that I have the skirt separated from the bodice, I am going to put it on and see what needs to be done in order to make it fit. Okay, so it looks like my body has changed a little bit more since the last time I tried to wear this. So at this point, I have a couple of things that I could do with this skirt. I could cut off the waistband unpick that and recut a new waistband out of leftover fabric, probably from the bodice, and replete it and just have it be something that closed on one side, probably with a couple of eyelets like this and one of the leftover pieces of cording that I have. There is evidence for that. We have in Juan Alcega's cutting manual, he has a petticoat that's like that. That's just a skirt with a little waistband ties on one side. The other thing that I could do is to go back to my Tudor Taylor books and cut a bodice to go on this that kind of goes a deep V like this. Pros and cons to doing these things. Pro to just having it be a skirt, it is a little bit more wearable. A con to doing it this way is that it's going to be less adjustable, I think. Our front closing bodice petticoat is the fact that if I do that, I will have to put a slit in the front of the dress. 
and I really hate the way that looks. <laughs> I would rather have this slit on the side for some reason. I find that more visually appealing. I really cannot stand. I hate it. There is part of me that wants this entire sew along to be something that I've done out of the Tudor Taylor books, but there is no just plain skirt in there. Even though I have documentable evidence to support the decision, um, it's not out of that book. And I kind of feel, <laughs> I kind of feel like that's cheating. It feels cheating to me. On the other hand, I really want this to be a thing that I will wear. I'm gonna think about it for a little bit. Uh, it's about time for lunch. When I'm done with that, hopefully I will have a decision made. Or at least some kind of indication about which direction I wanna go. Okay. Okay, I finished lunch and I had a think and I'm going to just go with the skirt only. I am way more likely to wear this if it is a little bit more modular. That is more important to me than making sure that everything that I wear comes out of this book. I'm gonna take the waistband off of this and then I'm going to cut new waistbands and we'll go from there. Okay, everything is a mess. I have completely taken the waistband off of the skirt, both front and back. Because of the last alteration that I did on this, the pleats in the middle were actually narrower than the pleats on the side. I want to concentrate it evenly through the back. I'm going to go iron this so that I have a clean slate and then I will go back into the bodice and cut a new waistband from it. It'll be pieced front and back, but that's fine. I don't care about that, that's okay. Okay, I just noticed this as I was ironing everything. My seams have some issues. There's another one. I'm also gonna go back over these seams with another row of stitching. And luckily, past me didn't actually finish these seams at all, so that's going to make it accidentally easy to fix this. Okay, um, I have gone to a point where I'm going to take a quick pause and go make myself some dinner. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna finish this up.
Okay, so I have these waistband bits all sewn up and ironed together and everything, and I think I have a decent idea about how I want to put them together. Since this used to be on the kirtle and there are side openings on both sides, what I'm gonna do instead is do the front and back waistband exactly like I was going to make this into a two opening petticoat with an opening on both sides, but I will just whip stitch one of those sides closed. It will be easy to undo that whip stitching and to get into the waist from that side. So I'm hoping that that will make it a little bit easier to be modifiable in the future. o'clock. I think I'm as far as I'm going to be able to get tonight. I got the pleats all pleated and the waistband sewn on on the outside and pinned on the inside. So now all I have to do is just do the hand sewing on the inside of that and then sew up the left hand side seam and then add the eyelets on the right hand side so that it can close and I'll be done. I was really hoping to get it done in one day, but I'm actually pretty satisfied with what I managed to get done. Tomorrow is a work day, so I will wait and I will save this hand sewing until tomorrow and I will definitely not film myself in the middle of a meeting hand sewing because I never do that. It's very unprofessional. Anyway, good night croissants and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you to all of my current and continuing coffee members, especially my newest member, Tiny Shiny Crumb. Your support and the support of all of my members and croissants makes it easier to do what I do and provide quality content for everyone. Thank you so much. 
Stick around after this brief commercial break.
Thank you for joining me today. I do feel like I made the right decision about the style of petticoat I chose, even if I made the wrong one about attempting to film the reveal outside. I am staying inside until October. I'm going to get so much more wear out of it than if I had made a bodice petticoat. I think I could even wear it as an everyday skirt if I pinned the opening slit closed to make sure that it didn't gap open when I sit down. I generally don't worry about that when I'm in garb since I usually am wearing at least one underlayer. Tell me in the comments about your favorite clothing makeover project. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, click the bell for notifications if you'd like, and consider sharing this or any of my videos to the social media platform of your choice. If you're interested in finding me on said platforms, I am at Opacel and I everywhere, and those links, as well as the link to my Kofi, as always, will be in the description box below. Until next time, be kind, do the work, continue supporting marginalized people, and keep creating. Woo!